Hello guys, Blutrick SD, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial by Blutrick SD. My name is Toby and today I'm seeking way way too fast because I watch my own videos and I think, oh god dang it, they are so very very boring. So I think I have to speak way way faster than the way I talked before. And as you have seen here, I opened my creepy scarecrow image I've edited before and it's not creepy anymore because you're not watching this in HD so please click that HD button because it's so easy and you may notice my cursor is moving like crazy because I pause a lot in this video I mean when my friend texts me and I pause press F9 and then I reply him and then F9 again to continue my my demo my tutorial yeah, something like that, you know. You're now watching this video and you know. Yeah, and it's been one minute from the beginning. It's um, a very long intro for a stupid tutorial. No, it's not stupid. Please, please don't close your tab. So yeah, let's get into the real thing. First, I have a background here. Just um, a quick, like, a Batman... Batman what? Arkham Asylum, Arkham City It's a similar name The main difference is the second word And let's open first the So this is the original Scarecrow I've downloaded from DeviantArt And I've cut out with a mask So I cut out this Scarecrow and then make a layer mask. I, you can do this. I don't have to try this. So let's delete this and do not delete background because it's it's easy to make and I'm very lazy to make. So it's easy for you and it's not easy for me because I'm a lazy guy. So that's my conclusion. So let's uh, go ahead and make an adjustment layer. First adjustment layer, we want to apply the levels adjustment layer. So drag this white triangle here to add some highlight. And bring the black to turn up the the shadow yeah the shadow so you like this and you affect the background too you affected the background too because you didn't apply we didn't apply the create clipping mask so click that create clipping mask by right click your level adjustment layer and click create clipping mask and then the next adjustment layer it's just the gradient map so it's located right here right above the selective color the lowest the lowest uh, option from the create new adjustment layer button and choose the black to white gradient map and it's a uh, black white you know uh, you you have already done this. and choose multiply and then bring down the opacity so we just knock out the disgusting dark brown color I, I don't like that so I want to make it like oh just make it like black and it's affect the background too so create clipping mask for avoid this thing oh yeah I'm speaking way too fast so the next thing is just the uh, hue saturation. So create clipping mask before you adjust your adjustments layer, adjustment layer, adjustments in your adjustment layer, and drag it to the right until you find the perfect color, so like this. And maybe you want to lower the opacity a little bit. yeah and then grab your paint tool 
brush tool. I mean, there's no paint tool, only paint bucket tool. I almost say it, <laughs> paint bucket tool. And choose a black color by clicking D. So it's D is default. Come on, it's default color. If it's a uh, white to black, white foreground color and black background color, all you need to have, all you need to do, all you need, all you have to do, all you need to do, is press your X button on your keyboard and then choose a large brush with a soft edge. Soft edge brush. 0% hardness, perfect, and you can resize your brush by clicking the left bracket to uh, to make it smaller. Clicking the right bracket to make your brush bigger. So it's the perfect size we have here. And I just paint it. So what we are doing is creating a such such a very nice light effect so as you see in here I need to swap the colors and then make my brush smaller and then by white white is visible and black is invisible so I'm gonna make this part of the rope is the hue saturation is visible so I have white color selected and brush it so it's like a nice light and then swap you have to do this half of the rope perfect and then the some parts of this and what we are creating is a very bright blue light coming from the left and shining to its body so you know what I mean and you know what you should do so the hand is visible too right and this is the basic effect of our scarecrow this is Toby thanks for watching guys uh, I didn't say this in my previous tutorial I'm sorry Thanks for watching. So I've said two thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And subscribe for to see my next tutorials and I've divided this detailed tutorial in some parts of this is the part one actually. And I didn't say that because I didn't know what to say. Click the like button if you like this video and click the favorite button. If you very very like this video and if you think your friends need this tutorial too just share it with the share button the YouTube gave it to you. I I'm sure I'm pretty sure you have the share button. If you don't have a share button, just just Google search a new browser because your browser is annoying it's it's error. And this is Toby. Thanks for watching. See you later.